the Triple E course, you can expect a very wide experience, um, taking into account um, a, a number of skills. So you can expect to spend time in the lab doing research. You can expect time in um, course facilities, learning the calculations and the physical experiments that you'll need to do to underpin your course. You can expect to spend time um, in the lecture theatre and also in um, a wider open classroom in a more of a tutorial style. So you can expect a varied, varied learning experience. But to all intents and purposes as regards to the course content, um, what we actually do is not only do we consider the, the, the various potentials of producing energy, so looking at both the green along with the traditional like um, oil and gas utilisation, we also consider and, and that course content is meshed quite readily with the environmental impacts of that energy generation. So you can really expect um, how most countries now are moving towards a varied portfolio for energy production. So they contain um, you know, wind, solar, uh, oil, gas, um, nuclear. You can pretty much expect the same um, experience within the courses that you will come across. Not only can you actually look at um, green energy generation, but also look at the backbone, traditional oil and gas and nuclear as well. Modules, initially you will find that there are a number of core modules. These are, um, for example, one of the very first ones will be more, mostly an overview content, which the aim of which will be to get you up to speed. So um, that's more of a, for example, like a survey bit. So it's uh, CP6100, I think, that um, will be an introduction to energy. Also with this, you'll start to look at some of the environmental components, which will contain more of you know, the impacts of energy generation on the environment, both on uh, particulate and gaseous emissions, but also liquid effluent. And in there as well will be the supporting policy generation for those as well. So there are those core. Then you can begin to, with your options, specialize. So if you're interested in energy generated from biomass, we have, course, we have a course that is specifically focused on that. If you're interested in solar and wind generation, you can look at green energy production. If you're interested actually in, the, um, in nuclear, not just do we focus on the nuclear reactor, but also the fuel cycle surrounding it. Um, so you can specialize pretty much in the energy generation area that you wish and also consider the environmental impacts of that as well. Our, typically, our, um, our graduate students that come off the MSc course is that, um, just to go from the numbers, is that usually within six months, 96% um, of those students are either in work or in further education. So typically we find that some go to work for energy generation companies. Um, some, for example, go to work for Tata Steel um, because both on the, um, that environmental aspect as well. We have people that go into the nuclear environment, uh, both in decommissioning and in power generation, say, for example, going and working for EDF. Um, but those that prefer to stick around um, and want to continue their education, We've managed to place um, a, a large variety into PhD schemes as well, not just at um, Sheffield, but in uh, the wider university context as well. Mm -hmm.